talk about, you know, nothing going on for you in the first quarter, second quarter, two catches, 110 yards, two touchdowns. And your quarterback said, when he gets mad, look out. So did you get mad and win and talk about your game? <laughs> Oh, I wouldn't say I, I was mad, you know, just irritated with what was going on. I knew, uh, you know, we, I knew we could play better. And, you know, I just try to, you know, try to help the team play the best that they can. And uh, if that takes me, I guess, getting mad, you know, I, I guess I'll get mad and, you know, go out there and do it. Second row. Um, Gina, My Gina Mizell, the Oklahoma. And um, Quinn, can you just talk about um, kicking the game-winning field goal? You said earlier this week that, you would love to have a chance to do that, and it did come down to that. So just what was uh, going through your mind, and just what does it mean to, you know, arguably have one of the best or most important kicks in school history? Uh, it was a great feeling, you know. It was a good chance just to get the opportunity, you know, unfortunately for Stanford's kicker. He had a rough night, but our, I trust in our offense and our defense. Those guys believe in each other day in and day out. And when the opportunity arose, I just wanted to make it count for those guys. Right here in the front. Uh, Quinn, uh, you could probably feel the pain, right, that uh, Williamson had there at the end. Yeah, I mean, it's one of it's it's not an easy feeling, you know. It's it, everything comes down to you. You're the last one that's on the line, and people can look at any plays throughout the game, but most of the time, when a situation like that happens, they don't look at those plays. They look at all oh, the kicker messed up or kicker did this. It was his fault. But you know, it's a team team effort, team unit, and just like I said, I believe in our offense and defense, and they believe in me and our special teams unit, and we come out and make plays every time. Back here in the front. Quinn, uh, I don't know, do you normally go out for the coin toss in overtime? And two, Andrew Luck, did he say something to you after the, the coin toss and everything? He did? just said good luck, and I said the same thing back to him. But um, I've done the coin toss a couple times this year, but that was the first time I'd done it by myself. Um, other times we've had Weedner, Blackman, or other offensive or defensive guys go. but. Defoe had me talk this time, and that's what I went out there for. To the left. Uh, Nathan Thompson, Fox 23 in Tulsa. Quinn, on a personal level, do you feel any kind of, of redemption after that missed field goal at Iowa State to kick a, a big game winner like this? Um, yeah, you know, it was, that was a rough game for us. We didn't play well as an overall team unit. Um, I missed that last kick at the end. It was kind of a judgment call, in my opinion. I could have kicked that ball six inches to the left, and it wouldn't have been like that. But our team bounces back, and we have, we've had a great season all year. And we, just like I said, we still believe in each other. We're fortunate to be at this game, play a great team in Stanford, and we came out on top. Here in the front, to the right. Uh, Quinn, I'm going to go a little further back memory lane. Uh, you missed the bowl game last year. Do you feel like it's kind of coming full circle of redemption and a, a great way to end this season after what happened other than last season? Um, yeah, you know, I made a personal mistake, and I let my team down. That was nobody's fault but my own. But I had talks with my parents and my coaches and told them I was going to make up for it. And I came back, and all my teammates believed in me. And it's good to reinstill that faith in, you know. I mean, it was a rough time for me, just like anybody else. You don't want to sit there on your couch and watch the team from home. It's not an easy feeling. But I fought through it, and I worked to get to the point to where I am. And I'm very happy with our team. Right here in the second row. Tyler Lockman with Fox Sports Arizona. Brandon, on that fourth and three as the game was winding down, the Stanford defense had to have an inkling, at least, that you were going to Justin on the play, but he still made that catch. What does it say about him as a player that he can make all those plays even when they know it's coming? Well, he just he takes pride in his one-on-one -on -one matchups. You know, he likes to, he likes going and catching the ball with his hands. He's not a, he's not a guy that's going to let it come to him. And and uh, like I said, if, if I know it's one-on-one, -on -one, I mean, there's nobody else I'd rather throw it to, maybe other than other than Blackman, maybe Cooper. But you know, in that situation, I'm going to, I'm going to Blackman 100% of the time. And and. Uh, like I said, they played, they played cover zero and, and uh, emptied the box, and they were aggressive, and we uh, kind of made them pay for it. To the right in the back. Game fun, no news okay. Brandon, you must have, were you watch, while you were watching Stanford drive there at the end, and you get the, another opportunity, it must feel like a, a death row inmate getting that call at the very end, getting another chance to go out there and, and actually make a difference and, and win the ball game after you, you, you thought you were done there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, we uh, we were just kind of glad to be in that situation. Uh, you know, for for us, we were fortunate that it came down to it. Um, I just knew I needed to make a play, one play to, to kind of boost our offense and, and put us in position to win the game. And uh, you know, I felt like I made a pretty decent throw on Chelf to Chelf, and and uh, he ran an unbelievable route to win a, again a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And uh, you know, for him, I wish he would have gotten the end zone, being a senior, and, and uh, kind of been a kind of a fairy tale story for him. Second row in the aisle. 
Brandon, just what, what does this win mean for Oklahoma State football just in general? Uh, I would say this is probably the biggest win in Oklahoma State football history. I think, um, you know, like Coach Gundy said, the win to get us here was obviously a huge one as well. Um, but like I said, th this is this is the 12th, 12th win, and, and it's never been done. We've never been been in this situation before. So, you know, I think um, you know, I, I think these guys would agree. Um, this this season been kind of an unbelievable, unbelievable ride, and and uh, you know, it's it's kind of crazy. It's all over. Justin Blackman, um, you guys beat Stanford. Let's say a week from now, Alabama beats LSU. Do you feel like your team should be claiming part of the national championship? I mean, it, it played out the way it played out. So, I mean, there's nothing we can really do from here. But uh, I do think we do have the best team in the nation. I wouldn't trade them for anyone else. And, uh, you know, I'm just glad we get to celebrate this win with our teammates. In the back on the aisle. You know, Chris Lincoln, uh, ABC in Tulsa. Brandon, for you, kind of. Cap this uh, season, this career off for you. A guy who walks on, former Yankee pitcher, minor league pitcher, 28 years old now, and finishing things up. What has the whole experience meant for you and the next step for you? It's been unbelievable. You know, it's, uh, if I'd have told you that this, uh, this situation would have arose six or seven years ago, I thought you were crazy. Um, you know, but like I said, this, is, this has kind of been my dream since I was a little kid. And, and uh, you know, this, this ride, and, and like I said, like the coach said, we came back to win a conference championship, beat Oklahoma, and, and win a BCS game. So. Doesn't get much better than this. You know, my future, that all take care of itself. I'm not really worried about it. This one, this one feels good. I'm going to celebrate these guys, and, and uh, you know, it feels good to be 20, 12 and 1. Here in the front. Justin Gilbert, um, while the offense was struggling in the first quarter, your defense made some pretty big plays. You had a pick uh, on, in, on the first drive or whatever, second drive maybe. Talk about the defense and what you guys kind of did in the first part to kind of, while the offense was trying to catch up. Uh, we just had to stay poised, you know. We uh, knew our offense had a chance of putting points on the board as long as we kept getting stopped. So, I mean, it started happening sooner or later. They kicked it in gear, and we started uh, – we got a couple of turnovers there at the beginning and uh, kept ourselves in the ball game. Front row to the right. Uh, Justin Gilbert, um, taught, you were on the, the field the last couple of drives when um, Luck was driving, kept making the throws, and you were also on the field during the extra um, the field goal that was missed at the time expired, and you, you were very emotional after um, he missed that, celebrating, excited. Can you talk about your emotions the last couple – as those, those last final minutes went by? Oh, uh, man, there's no better feeling than being out there on the field with those guys. I mean, and you look up in the stands, you see just orange everywhere, jumping up and down, and – I'm just ready to go back out on the field and get another stop and let our offense put points on the board so we can win. Here in the front. Justin Gilbert, um, they get the ball with two and a half minutes to go and tie ball game. Your defense has struggled against him. I mean, he only had four incompletions all night. Mm -hmm. Was there doubt on the part of anybody on defense on that drive that led to an eventual missed field goal? Uh, no, uh, not from, I mean, not from my perspective. Uh, I was hoping, I was just wishing that they would throw it to my side. I mean, but everyone on the team uh, was, I mean, influenced to make a play and, and get a stop for our offense to get, I mean, a chance to put points back on the board. I think we have one more right here in the second row. Uh, Justin Blackman, you, this game, three touchdowns, offensive MVP honors. Is, is there any way, better way you could have imagined capping your career in the season you had? Man, uh, n not at all. I mean, uh, like I said, the win, the win itself, you know, to get the win with my teammates and, you know, all the seniors on the team, you know, was enough. Uh, you know, I could have had no catches and no touchdowns. As long as we won, I would have been excited. So, uh, you know, it's just really big to get this win for Oklahoma State and Stillwater. And, you know, just glad we get to bring that trophy back to Oklahoma.